Welcome! You have reached the Reach Up at Reachability. If you're interested in finding out more about the Reach Up program, I'll be providing that information at the end of this session. Today, we're going to be talking about the dreaded interview question. So tell me about yourself. So, tell me about yourself. It should be a pretty easy question to answer. I mean, after all, who knows themselves better than you? But it turns out this question causes a lot of stress and worry and unneeded um, anxiety during a job interview. So let's break it down a little bit and, and see if we can come up with a, a system that will help you answer this question with no problem at all the next time you're in a job interview. So. For some strange reason, everybody can agree, almost everybody, that giving a good answer to the question, so tell me about yourself, during a uh, job interview can be one of the most stressful situations ever. Uh, what is it about this seemingly simple question that causes it so much, causes so much anxiety? Uh, well, it can come down to a few things. Number one, we're wondering, why are they asking? Number two, we're wondering, what, what do they want to hear? What are they looking for in my answer? And number three, you're thinking, what's my best strategy for giving them what they want? The problem is, we're thinking about all this while we're sitting there in the interview in the moments that they're asking us. These questions are rolling around in your brain, you're filtering through the last many decades of your life trying to think of what you can pick out that's significant to tell them about you. Um, and it's likely that your level of stress is growing along, along with these, these racing thoughts. Um, and that doesn't make for the most comfortable of job interviews. And when you're not comfortable, uh, you're not showing your best, most authentic self. Um, so actually, you can make this question work for you. Um, what this question actually is, is an opportunity for you to take control of the job interview and position yourself as the perfect candidate. It's your opportunity to do that. So why do hiring managers ask this question? Almost, it may not be uh, worded in exactly that way, but in almost every job interview, there's some sort of question that comes down to, so, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Do they really want to get to know you better? Not really. Uh, in fact, there's actually two much more practical reasons that they're asking you this question. Um, number one, they want to see how you react to a question casually, a question that's unstructured. It's not a question that you can answer yes or no or reply with a, you know, oh, here's what happened. It's a sort of a loose question and they want to see how you react on your feet. Um, secondly, they want to see what you feel is important because it's telling. What you choose to tell them about yourself in that situation tells them a lot about you. So a good interview um, candidate always prepares. We know this. You always prepare before a job interview. You do your research about the company. Um, you've read over the job ad several times. You work on your resume and your cover letter. Uh, you run through practice interview questions. We refine our answers. And interviewers know this. They know we've prepared, just like a test. They know we've studied for a test. So when they ask us, tell me about yourself, um, they're asking us to sort of step outside of those questions that we may have pre-prepared. Um, and this unstructured type of question is one way that they sort of try and throw a little, uh, little wrench into the works and see how we think on our feet. Uh, so rather than just like you know, regurgitating something that you've memorized on the website, you have to come up with your own answer. Um, so anyone can prepare for a situation 
that you know is coming. Like they're gonna ask me what my past experiences are. But so you can pretty well be guaranteed that they're going to ask you to tell you, tell them about yourself. So let's figure out a way that you can prepare to answer that question. So you're thinking, uh, you're, it's a question where they're going to ask you, they think you're thinking on the fly, but you already have a strategy. So you're gonna come off as really polished and prepared. Um, so how you answer this question is going to reveal more about who you really are than what you say because it means it, it because it's a potential uh, springboard to landing you the job. So how do you answer the question? So let's look first at how you don't answer the question and that'll help make it a little clearer. Don't just regurgitate your resume and your cover letter. They've read it, they have it, you know, they don't want, want that necessarily. Um, in fact, they don't want that at all. Um, don't tell your life story. Uh, this is probably the most common mistake that people make, you know. Uh, well, I was born in Auntie Ganesh and I had three brothers and two sisters and I grew up with a cat named Fluffy. You know, these things um, aren't relevant, but they're usually, if somebody wants to know about ourselves, that's our first instinct, is to go in chronological order. They're not looking for that. Um, do not reply by saying, well, what do you want to know? Uh, because that just seems like you're unprepared. Uh, and don't give them a 10 minute monologue. Sometimes, especially when we're nervous, we begin to speak and we don't know when to stop and we just keep going and inside our head we're saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, but we keep, we keep going and going and going. Um, you want like 60 seconds. That's it. One minute. So here's how to answer that question in the right way. Um, I want you to remember that according to research, um, they interviewed a whole bunch of job coaches and HR companies and they asked that how, what is the best way to answer the question, tell me about yourself. Overwhelmingly, the re response was to make sure when you're answering the, that question that you are responding, you are focusing to what most interests the employer. So you need to find that sweet spot between still talking about yourself, but in such a way that it responds to the interests of the employer. That's why you're there. You're not out for a coffee date, you're in a job interview. So you don't want to focus on what's best about you. You wanna focus on how you're going to help them fulfill their needs. So it's not about you, the job interview. In that moment in time, it's about them. So you want to customize your response to the question, to answer the needs of the organization. So you have to find a way to do this really tightly, really concisely. Um, the company has very specific, uh, predetermined skills and abilities that they want in the candidate that they're going to hire. Um, so you need to tell them that you have it, have those skills and abilities. So in terms of tell me about yourself, uh, while it's important to talk about all the qualities you think you have, uh, what's actually more important is that you possess the qualities that they want. So how do you actually structure your answer? Okay. So you understand that you need to tailor your response to the company and, and, and to the position that you're interviewing for. Um, but how do you do that by answering, tell me about yourself? The best way to do that um, is to provide an example within your um, uh, explanation about yourself that shows how there's an element of your past, your present, or even your future that will somehow um, fill the need that they have or 
um, fulfill the requirements in the qualities that they're looking for in a candidate. So let's say um, that you've done all your company research and you found out that the company that you're going to work for um, really values high customer service. It's not hard to figure out what they want. You can, you can know by um, going to their website. If they don't say it explicitly, you can figure it out. If they say something like customers are first in our organization or clients are, you know, in our organization, clients are the boss, then you know they are customer service focused. So let's get into an example. So you've done your research, you found out that the company that you're interviewing for really values excellent customer service. You're in the job interview. The hiring manager says, the dreaded, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Here's an answer. I'm going to give it to you in three parts. Part one, well, I've been working the past two years as a cashier at Superstore. During that time, I've received training and I'm certified on a number of different customer service programs. Nice. You're starting by answering the question directly and keeping it business focused, focused to that in, in particular business that you're applying to. Part two, ideally, I would describe myself as a person with a versatile skill set. Um, I have a lot of integrity and I have a willingness to go that extra mile to satisfy uh, a customer's needs. Excellent. You've highlighted the quality that the company puts a lot of value in. Part three, now I'm looking to take my career to the next level and move into a full-time position in a company where I can be part of a team and allows me to focus my energy on my best strengths, which is working directly with customers. Bang, number three, there you have it. The perfect wrap up. You've brought it around to where you are now and what you hope to accomplish by this job to fulfill your what was some of your best qualities, which happens to be very similar and overlap with the qualities that they're looking for in an individual. Uh, you've kept it professional, it's focused, it's tailored, and it reinforces ultimately what you're trying to do, which is, you know, fulfill their need and get a job. So what I'm going to do is read that back to you all in one, uh, one go and not interrupt it. So, tell me about yourself. Okay, well, I've been working for the past two years as a cashier at Superstore. During that time, I've received lots of training and certification in a number of different customer service programs. Uh, I describe myself as a person with a variety of skill sets and a lot of integrity and I really have a willingness to go that extra mile to satisfy a customer's needs. Now I'm looking to take my career to the next level and move into a full-time position where I can be part of a team and also focus my energy on my best strength which is working directly with customers. That is the answer to, so tell me about yourself. Um, if I wasn't prepared, I may have been thrown by that question and started telling them about how many dogs and cats I had when I was growing up. So, what if, however, how do you answer that question if you don't have any experience? You know, what if this is your first job? Um, so, that's okay. There's still ways of answering this question just because you don't have um, previous work experience um, doesn't mean that you aren't still the ideal candidate for them. Um, you're still able to bring professional and personal skills to the table um, and you can really make them take notice of that by uh, how you choose to answer this question. So I'll let you in on a secret. More often than not, uh, the company cares more about your ability to fulfill their needs than it does about your, the details of your past experience. 
they would rather hire someone uh, with the values and the work ethic that they feel aligns with their personal organization than someone who doesn't have those qualities but has tons of experience. So if you don't have the work experience, you can always draw from another space. Uh, for example, if you're a new graduate, um, like if you just graduated high school or college or any other course, you can talk about that, you know, your academic achievements or something you've just uh, become certified in in school or certificate, a diploma. You can talk about any kind of athletic uh, endeavors that you participate in, um, you know, being on a team, a sports team, uh, involves lots of teamwork and communication and all sorts of, of things that they're, qualities that they're looking for in a candidate. You can draw from any kind of volunteer work you've done, uh, any kind of charity work, hobbies, um, artwork, you know, there's, there's, we've all done something that displays um, that sh our skill set and shows that we have the qualities that would be wanted uh, in an organization. So if you had any kind of work in a group or an activity, you can always use those experiences. The fact of the matter is the hiring manager has seen your resume and they wouldn't have brought you in for the interview if they didn't think you had at least some potential to get the job. So first of all, you need to stop and congratulate yourself for even getting uh, the interview. That's a big deal. They've seen something in you and they want to know more. So you can reach back uh, into your past and find something that articulates or shows them. It's like bringing receipts. It, you're able to actually show them um, and not just tell them that you're a dependable person. You can show them by saying you were a member of a sports team for two years. You know, that, that takes dependability. So, pulling it all together. Ultimately, the goal of how you answer this question, so tell me about yourself, is to get the interviewer to see you not as a potential candidate. You want the interviewer to see you as a future employee. So they're not looking, they're actually visualizing you as, okay, what's this person going to look like on our sales floor or in our office? Um, so an interview is really just a long sales pitch, you know, where you get 20 minutes, half an hour to tell them all the great stuff about you that's relevant to them. You're selling you and you want them to buy it is what it comes down to. So you can take that dreaded question, so tell me about yourself, and turn it into a solid moment within your interview where you can prove that you really are perfect for the job. Um, so I'm going to just do a recap, a quick recap. The five common mistakes people make in answering that question, number one, just regurgitating your resume and your cover letter. Number two, telling your entire life story, as interesting as it is, it's not relevant to this situation. Number three, by answering back, well, what do you want to know? And number four, rambling on too long. Why do, why do hiring managers ask this question? Two reasons. They want to see how you can react to a question that's unstructured um, and it's casual so they can get a glimpse into how you would act and communicate um, in the organization as one of their employees. Can you think on your feet? Uh, and they want to get a feel for what you think is important. So you have to show them that what you think is important is the same thing as they do. You know, good work ethic, dependability, whatever they indicate as being um, valued in their organization. So how do you answer the interview question? You focus on what most interests the interviewer. And how would you know that? By doing the research. You know, look, and re by research I mean looking on their website, uh, going to the, act if it's, you know, a big store or something or a restaurant, you can always go there, scope them out. 
Um, ask people what they, you know, what they think. Ask your friends and family what they think um, that that company would be looking for. Because the fact is, it's not about you in that moment. It's about them and their needs. And you need to tailor that answer to focus on the needs of the company. And you, it's a great opportunity for you to highlight the relevant skills and experience you possess that happens to align with what they need. And again, if you don't have any uh, previous work experience, um, the company probably cares more about your ability to fulfill their needs than it does what you did for another company. Um, so, for example, if you're a recent graduate, you can refer to schoolwork, you can refer to athletic um, experiences that you've had, or you can refer to volunteer work. So I'm hoping that that dispels the mystery of, uh, and with it, a little bit of the discomfort surrounding the question, so tell me about yourself. As long as you know what the company wants, you should be able to craft your question pretty easily. And uh, if you want uh, any help, uh, that's what we're here for at Reachability. Uh, we run employment programs and we're more than happy uh, to have you on board and help you uh, practice with those type of questions. Uh, so thank you for sharing this time for, uh, with me and uh, I hope it was um, helpful for the next time that you're preparing for a job interview or takes down the stress level a little bit. Uh, and uh, for our uh, reach up today, um, I'm going to give you an action. And the action, today's action will be, tell me about yourself. I'd like to have three short sentences that tells me about you in a way that you think that reachability would be interested to know. Tell me about yourself. The only way you can answer this is if you start practicing. Uh, it, answer it for a job interview. So practice on me. Email us at reachability, no, reach up. Email us at reachup at reachability.org and tell me about yourself. And I promise I'll get back to you with uh, my suggestions as to whether or not um, you know, some other ideas that you could use to improve your answer if needed. Maybe your answer will be perfect. I don't know. Email me. Are you interested in joining the Reach Up program? You can email us at reachup at reachability.org. That's reachup at reachability.org. Or call us at 902-429-5758. And we'll sign you up to the program. Uh, what is the program? Well, you participate in five reach up sessions, of which this was one, complete five actions, and we will send you a grocery store gift card just for participating. Thanks for watching.